Hi friends, it's Murph. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to share a recipe with you that was my great aunt Teresa's. So she was my grandfather's sister and boy did they love to bake. So let's get started. Super easy. It's a layered dessert and I'm gonna make it lemon and we call it lemon lush. So here we go. In this bowl I have a half a cup of melted butter. You know I like butter. To it I'm going to add two cups of, these are graham crackers. So I just bought graham crackers and I just put them through the food processor, the food processor. And um, I like to have them on hand so I can make a quick and easy crust. If you don't have them, you can buy the, the cracker crumbs already done up for you. But I'm just showing you because this is what I have in the pantry. So I thought, let's make a dessert. So I'm just mixing this up with a fork. And then I'm gonna spread it in the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. And I'm going to press it down. And then I'm gonna bake it at 350 for 15 minutes, 15 to 17 minutes until it's nice and brown. So this is what it looks like all done. And then we're gonna push it down in the pan. And this one I just took out of the oven. This one, I've let it cool though. And this one, I've, I baked this for about 15 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside, and then we're gonna make the next layer. So in a bowl, I have an eight ounce package of cream cheese that I've softened. To it, I'm going to add a half a cup of Cool Whip. So I bought, um, let's see what size this is. This is an eight ounce container of Cool Whip, and you're gonna use the whole thing basically in different layers. So I'm gonna mix this up, and you wanna make sure the cream cheese is softened um, so it will be easier to mix, or you could use a little hand mixer. To it, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of sugar. I've cut this recipe down a little bit um, from my aunts because they would use like a whole cup of sugar and, you know, a lot more than I did. So I try to have it a little bit more friendly. Not quite so sweet. They definitely had a sweet tooth. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm just gonna kind of rush through this so I don't bore you. I'm gonna add this on top of that crust. So you wanna kind of be careful when you, when you spread it, not to pick up the crust. So we could get a, sm a straight spatula if you had it. See, I already did it. Hold on, let me get something different. Anyway, it'll still taste good. I'm gonna cover it up anyway. But, like I said, you just wanna kinda spread it just gently. And really, it's when you, you spread your spatula up, and when you like, when you, cause I like to do this, and you wanna be careful with this. You wanna kinda just go like, maybe one way, and use another spatula. Anyway, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna cover it right up. So no worries at all what, what it will look like. We'll make it fancy on the top. Well, you know I don't do anything fancy, but we'll make it look good on top so it'll be pleasant to the eyes. Okay. Making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. All right, almost to all the corners. And then we're gonna add the next layer. So the next layer, I'm using lemon. Well, we call it lemon lush, but I was thinking about it as I was putting it together. You could use, if you don't like lemon, like you should, cause lemon's so good. But if you don't like lemon, you could do this with vanilla pudding. Um, you know, just think outside of the box. You could do chocolate, anything like that. So what I did in this bowl, is I put three cups of milk, and you can use any kind of milk, and then I use instant lemon pudding. Like I said, I use two boxes. You could use chocolate, vanilla, whatever, whatever you like. Now we're gonna put this on top. So while I was getting the crust ready and stuff, I put this in the refrigerator just to get it a little chilled, because we're gonna spread this on top next. 
and think about what you can add to it because we're gonna put another layer on for the top and then what does that look like? So do I'm gonna put nuts on mine and some fresh fruit. You could add whatever, crushed, any kind of nuts or maybe you don't want any nuts at all. Um, but I'm gonna use, I like lemon and blueberry together and I happen to have some fresh blueberries so that's what I'm gonna to add to the top of mine. I'll show you, I have it all done. I can't wait. Um, you, when, once this is all done, you're gonna refrigerate it for a little bit, a few hours, just to kind of let it set before you serve it. So just make sure that crust is cool. And I added about, like I said, a half a cup of Cool Whip, because I wanted to save the rest of it for the top. But you could add you could add a little bit more. Maybe you want to buy a bigger size Cool Whip, and then you could add a little bit more to that layer. But this is going to be pretty perfect. See, we we hit all those mistakes anyway. I need a. Sorry, I'm making a mess, and I just needed to wipe my hands. Okay, now the top layer. So the top layer. I really want this spatula again. This will help get it spread nice and smooth. So we're gonna put this on the top. You know I got a sneeze coming on, I can feel it. I haven't made this recipe in a long time, so this top layer is probably gonna be a little bit thin. So like I said, you could buy a bigger Cool Whip. You could put it in a piping bag and pipe it around the edges, you know, just kind of giving you some suggestions. I don't do anything fancy. I'm not a cake decorator or my aunt was. Boy, she was talented. So I remember watching my mom make things like this and she always had that back and forth motion. And I always liked how the, the it looked kind of swirly. So, you know, that's the way I've done it for years. So I just never, Never been very fancy, but I do like to cook and I like things that taste good too. So this is gonna taste just perfect. So that's really it. You know, like if you weren't doing anything else, you could just kind of make it a little fancy like that. You know, whatever. I'm gonna show you what I did with mine. So I made a little small one. So I like these dishes. I used to bring this size down to my grandfather all the time and it's pretty perfect. So I just cooked the same idea. We could make little small dishes for everyone, but I put nuts on top and fresh blueberries. I also have some um, cherries. We could top that. Just kind of whatever looks good for you. Now I'm gonna try to cut it, try to get it out in one piece so you can see the layers. Sometimes with it, a little small dish, it's hard. Because if my husband was home, we would just eat it right out of this container, or this dish, not necessarily scoop it out. I hope you can see that. You can see those layers. I hope you like it, and I hope you try it. I'll post the directions. If you follow me on YouTube, they'll be there. If you follow me on Facebook, They'll be on the menu tab in the recipe card, on a recipe card in the, in the menu tab. Reach out with any questions and I'll share something with you again real soon. Take care.